Welcome to Electron Online, and now we're going to move on to what we call the sum to product formulas. Remember, in the last couple of videos, we did the, the product to sum, sum um, equations. Now we're going to go from the sum to the product. And so here we have the sine of x plus the sine of y, or the sine of x minus the sine of y. And what is that equal to in terms of x and y, converting that to a product of angles? Well, in order to do that, we're going to kind of re-engineer, going backwards, from the product to sum equation, and see how we develop the sum to product equations. To do that, we have to make a substitution. We're going to let a equal x plus y divided by 2 and b equal to x minus y divided by 2. By doing that, we're now going to substitute that in that equation, see what we get. So we end up with the sine of x plus y divided by 2 times the cosine of x minus y divided by 2, because b is equal to that. Notice that this is what we have over here. So we're on the right track here. And so this is equal to 1 half times the sine. Now since a is x plus y divided by 2, we can write x plus y divided by 2 plus b, which is x minus y divided by 2, and plus the sine of x plus y divided by 2 minus x and b is equal to, where am I? Uh, b is right here, x minus y divided by 2. I lost my b there for a moment. Alright, okay, now let's simplify that. The left side doesn't change, but the right side does. So this is equal to 1 half times the sine of x plus y divided by 2 plus x minus y, that would be x plus x is 2x divided by 2 is x, so we have the sine of x, and y minus y is to 0, so simply the sine of x, plus the sine of, and here we have x minus x, so the x's disappear, and y minus a minus y, minus times a minus is plus, that would be 2y divided by 2, which is simply y. And so here we can write that the sine of x plus y divided by 2 times the cosine of x minus y divided by 2 is equal to this. Now all we have to do is multiply both sides by 2 and if we do that and we turn the equation around we can then write that the sine of x plus the sine of y is equal to 2 times what we have on the left side which is the sine of x plus y divided by 2 times the cosine of x minus y divided by 2. And there we go, that's exactly the same as what we have over here as our first equation. And you can already guess that the other three equations are found in exactly the same way. We go ahead and make the same substitution, and we use the, one of the four equations of the product to the sum, and then we can convert that to these four equations right here. So that's where they came from. Now these are really, again, I can't stress enough, there's a lot of occasions where I've had to use these, and I can't remember them, I have to go ahead and develop them and that's usually how it's done. So there you go, that's how we go from the sum to the product.